Uh, we are finding a lot of warmth too uh, here in the Weather Center. It has not felt like December at all. Just picking up right where November left off. Every single day so far this month has been above average. We're running about four or five degrees above average on the whole. And the next seven days, pretty much looking to stay above average. I'm going to step to the side here so that way I can show you the next weather tower lit up in red because it's only going to get warmer as we head through today and tomorrow. Even Friday temperatures 10 to 20 degrees above average this morning. Yeah, it feels a bit on the cold side here with wind chills at 17 actual air temperatures at 24. Usually our overnight lows this time of year are in the upper teens, so we're already a little bit above average. We're at 21 in St. Cloud. Wilmer, good morning, 27 for us, 34 in Marshall. Notice that jump in the temperatures as you head into western Minnesota and eastern parts of the Dakotas. That's because of a warm front that is shifting eastward and kind of see some clouds drifting in from that boundary. These are largely mid and upper level clouds, giving the mood a, a bit of a, a hazy look here. But I think by the time we head toward the afternoon, we are going to see some peaks of sunshine and do have to mention that we're not going to see any precipitation from those clouds. We get to 40 in Grand Rapids, 39 in Duluth for our Wednesday. Fargo, Grand Forks, low to mid 50s for the high kind of because you can kind of see that trend here across central Minnesota as well. The farther west you go, the warmer it's going to be on a video 56 51 in Wilmer St. Croix Falls 43 Menominee also topping off around 43 across southern Minnesota here a little bit warmer even across eastern parts of the state Spring Valley 50 or 41 rather 45 in Owatonna but Westbrook 53 for us and we'll notice some breezes too about 25 mile per hour gusts this afternoon, but it's that wind that's going to help pump in some of that warmer air. Future radar showing some of the clouds that we have this morning exiting to the east. Some of that sunshine also helping to warm us up. We already talked about the temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees above average. We do have a couple of systems that are going to be sliding on by as we head toward our Saturday. First one actually moves to our north as we head into our Friday morning. That could lead to a couple of isolated rain showers across northern parts of the state for our early Friday morning. What that system is going to do is drag through a cold front that's eventually going to drop the temperatures as we head into our Saturday. And with that, there's going to be another area of low pressure that develops and rides northward along that frontal boundary. It largely stays pretty far off to the south, but we'll see a couple of possible snow showers across southeast Minnesota, maybe even across western parts of the state with some upper level energy with that low that'll be to our north. However, accumulations with that system really don't look to come to fruition, especially with how warm it's going to be in the next three days. Ground temperatures are going to be relatively mild, so we'll allow for a stray rain or snow shower on Saturday, but that's it. Don't expect anything to really uh, accumulate that much, and we'll see those temperatures again fall back into the mid 30s for our highs after being close to 50 here the next couple of days, challenging record highs. We eventually get closer to average by early next week into the lower 30s. Overnight lows will be back into the teens, but that's the best we can do. Even beyond that, guys, it looks like we warm back up. So if you want that white Christmas, oh, you really, really got to be on the nice list. Or go to Buck Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.